We're here at Saanich Police Headquarters with Constable Marcus Anastasiadis to talk distracted driving because March is Distracted Driving Month and 10 years into this law, still seeing people out there on their phones. Yeah, we certainly are. You know, our officers are out there doing, uh, looking for distracted drivers and uh, we are still unfortunately seeing a high volume of people that are not focusing on driving. We hear a lot of questions from people unsure about the rules. Uh, you know, can I do this when I'm driving? Can I do that when I'm driving? So we thought we would put the question out to our viewers um, and see what questions they still have about what exactly is distracted driving and what isn't. And uh, we thought we'd read you some of those questions and get your answers. Certainly. Okay. So Lisa N asks, can I use Siri to send or receive a text? Certainly. So you can use uh, Siri, which is a hands-free feature of, a, of an iPhone particularly, to engage the phone and use it uh, as long as it is activated by voice and also the phone is securely mounted to your vehicle. If you do need to engage the phone by uh, touching it, it's a one touch to activate or one touch to activate a call or end a call. Jody L asks, can I eat behind the wheel? Well, certainly there's no laws that prevent you from eating behind the wheel, but the issue could arise that uh, if eating causes a distraction while you're driving. So uh, eating soup uh, while you're driving is not uh, considered paying attention while you're driving. It could be a distraction and it could prevent you also from not operating the controls of your vehicle, namely the steering wheel and any other hand uh, controls. So certainly eating is not uh, uh, an offense. However, the manner in which you do so could be constituted as not driving without due care and attention. Rick P says, are you allowed to ride a motorcycle while listening to music through your earbuds? Yeah, very good question. We get this question a lot, certainly. Um, so you are allowed to use earbuds while you're operating a motorcycle underneath your helmet. However, earbuds can become noise canceling. So what we recommend and as, a, as a rider myself is to get an integrated headset that's built into your helmet that provides you, uh, you know, if you, access to music. However, uh, it still allows uh, you to hear what's going on on the road. What about if you're driving a vehicle, earbuds? So earbuds are not allowed when you're driving a vehicle unless it's just one earbud. So like an Apple uh, AirPod in one ear, as long as that allows you to kind of hear what's going on around outside, respond to sirens, uh, honking from of other vehicles to alert you to um, situations that are changing. Richard J asks, if my cell phone is in my <clears throat> cup holder, can I play music through my phone? Another great question. So uh, you can play music through your phone. However, the phone needs to be securely mounted. So it is an exemption under the Motor Vehicle Act and it allows to allow for use, but use can be only used uh, with the phone if it's securely mounted to your vehicle or fastened to your body, such as a, a watch. Now we have smart watches. So unfortunately, having it in your cup holder or on the seat of your vehicle, if it's engaged in one of the functions, uh, is, is, uh, is not allowed. And that really pertains to um, having the object, the phone, landing, say, in your lap or on the floor, in the floorboard of your vehicle, and that interferes with your controls. So securely mounted. And I have my own question. Yeah. <laughs> if my phone is mounted, yes. uh, can I switch the songs uh, using the touch screen? Yes, yeah, so you can switch the song one touch though, right? So we're, we're still going back to that one touch feature of the, of the phone, no different than when you're changing a radio station. You're not sitting there pushing multiple stations. You're either hitting scan to look for radio stations or you're just changing one station or turning up and down the volume. So think of it that way. Um, definitely not scrolling through a playlist. That would that would constitute definitely more than uh, more into the use function of a phone and not hands free. Ultimately, some of it comes down to an officer's discretion. Yes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, there, there are um, areas where it's more of a learning point than uh, such as the maybe the, the, the two earbuds for a driver. Maybe, hey, listen, you know, you're only allowed to have one earbud in. So there is discretion for all motor vehicle act defenses uh, with an officer. However, this month, um, I think discretion will be a little bit uh, lower as we are uh, expecting to enforce this campaign. So ultimately, you don't want to be uh, caught distracted driving. You don't want to be distracted driving mm -hmm. at all. Um, but if you are, what kind of fines are you facing? So for, for a first fine for a driver, you're looking at $368 fine, four demerit points, and then I believe ICBC premium for high-risk driving will set you back $252, so a total of $610 on your first offense. Uh, additional offenses, the fines go up quite a, month, quite a lot. And you'll be out there <laughs> starting tomorrow? Starting tomorrow, we're doing extra campaigns. We're already out there all month, but we're doing extra campaigns uh, starting tomorrow and for the rest of the month. Okay. Constable yeah. Anastasiadis, thank you so much Great. for joining us today. Thank you.